Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here, back with tarot for this month, uh, for the month, for the sign of Scorpio. For November of 2020, I am excited to be back, took a little bit of a break, needed to recharge a little bit. How are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments if you missed the videos. Um, Spirit's always with you, so do not worry, even if you don't get the message, they're always with you. All right, if you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome, and if you're coming back, I want to say welcome back. Thanks for sticking with me through the month of October. I do come live every Tuesday uh, night at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with different topics every single week, so you can check me out there, as well as have my Facebook group. If you want to join, you can check the link below. I have an exciting new offer, um, a new course that just came out called Unleash Your Divine Self and manifest your abundance. Figure this is the perfect time going into 2021. Got to make it better than 2020, right? And if you're interested in really connecting to your higher self and learning more about spirituality and learning more about the law of attraction, but also about letting go of all the subconscious beliefs that come along with trying to manifest. So if you're trying to manifest things and it's not happening, I'm going to teach you why in this course. I'm going to teach you how to get over it. So if you want to see the details of that, check out the description and the comments below. But let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notifications of when these messages come out. We've got the overall energy for you, Scorpios. Happy birthday, by the way. Six of Wands. So this is about recognition. This is about standing up for yourself. This is about recognizing who you are this month. And I love that the first card of the first week here is the High Priestess. This is about using your intuition We've also got the Seven of Wands and the Hermit card. So really, really important for you here to use your intuition. And, you know, with the Seven of Wands, this is like being defensive and going in hermit mode. So being very aware of your surroundings um, and when you're on the defense, when people around you or situations around you, maybe it's going into different places, maybe it's people. Remember, these are general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But... You will know when it's time to retreat. You will know when it's time to spend some time by yourself. Don't resist it. This is all about you this month. This is really getting um, aware of who you are. A lot of epiphanies, a lot of clarity is coming this month for you here. Um, I don't know if it has to do with your birthday and like another year. It's like, do you want to do another year of how you feel? And with the high priestess there, they're like your intuition, just follow that. Follow that. And your intuition can come in many ways. I teach this in my 21 days course where it can come in a, in a feeling. It could come in a uh, vision. It can come in something, you hearing something. So don't be so keen to think it's going to come in one way of your intuition. Like I'm supposed to hear something, see something, whatever. Just feel and take the time, right? Take the time out with the hermit card to really... Um, meditate and I know a lot of people hate that word <laughs> I couldn't meditate in the very beginning either and like really like let's lose that word of meditation let's lose let's use the word of focus focus and staying present and that's really what this is about for you if you meditate that's great but if you can't meditate I don't want you to resist that just because you can't do that but it's about taking the time out and focusing and getting very clear and being in the very present moment when you can do that it's showing me that you you step outside of the drama. You step outside of the issue or the problem that you're perceiving. Is that a word, perceiving? <laughs> but we've got the Ace of Pentacles here in the middle of the month. We've got the Knight of Swords, and we've got the Five of Cups. And what I'm going to tell you here, and you might not like this, but whatever new beginning you're searching for, whatever you're trying to manifest here, it's going to be a little rocky, and it's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be comfortable. But I always say that life, life lives on the other side of being uncomfortable. So the five of cups here is about looking at what's not happening, right? Because it's rocky. But the new beginning, you've got to go through the bumps. You've got to um, keep pushing through because you're not seeing something here. You're not seeing it. And that's usually what happens, right? We don't see the thing until it actually blossoms or it actually happens. But all the time that we're trying to get to that thing, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you're trying to bring into your life here, it's like, why don't we have it? Why don't we have it? Why don't we have it? 
And it's about looking at what's the possibility, right? Because we've got the three cups in the water here spilled over, but we've got these two gleaming cups. And if we spend more time looking at the cups that didn't happen or fell over or failure, right? Every time you, you failed at something, failure is just a sign of redirection. It's time to try something different. It's time to test something different. But you've got to keep looking at the positive side of things. This is what I teach in the manifest course, a lot more into it, but definitely the rockiness is part of the journey. So this is what I want you to understand. The rockiness is part of the journey. The uncomfortableness is part of the journey. You can't get to that side without being uncomfortable because why? Because when you're getting to that other side, you're changing who you are. You're doing things that you don't normally do. Those are uncomfortable feelings. So lose the um, perception of that you're just going to get it. It's just going to come to you without doing the work or without being uncomfortable. And this is what I talk about. I'm sorry, I'm just going on here. But this is what I talk about with the next version of you. That next version of you, like you can't just jump into that next version of you. I mean, you can do it quickly, but it's going to be uncomfortable in between. And you've got to accept that. And we talk about acceptance, okay? King of Swords here at the la in the last week of the month, um, or at the end of the month, we'll say. The King of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Death card. You're losing your old you here. This new year for you is not going to be the same as last. It can't, they're telling me. It can't. You've been through too much in the past year that this next year cannot be like the last. And what are you going to do to change it is what they're asking. Okay, you've got the death card. That's the transformation. Part of you is dying. Not literally, but part of you is dying. The old you, because it has to die in order for you to get to that new you. And that king of swords, this is a king of boundaries. This is a king of um, habits, of good habits, successful habits. Getting up every day and doing the things that you know you need to do and want to do because you know what you want to get. Okay, knight of wands, taking that action. The, the ending of this month is like you're stepping into that new power of you. You're stepping into the, um, the one that you dream of, the life that you dream of here. And with that death card, you're losing the old you. And they're telling me here to pick one card out of this, this deck. Let's clarify the death card for some reason being pulled to that. Let's clarify the death card, please. I know that a litter, but we're going to take this here. Yeah, so you've got the five of wands here with this death card and it's test of courage. How bad do you want the things you want? What are you willing to do to get them? You've got to sacrifice something. You're either going to sacrifice the thing that's keeping you away from what you want or you're going to sacrifice the thing that you want to stay where you are. So which one is it going to be? And then over here, the card that wanted to come out was the Empress. And this is fertility and sensuality. But the Empress is all about self-love and self-care. Whose terms are you living with in this lifetime? Are you living on your terms or are you living on terms that other people want you to live on? How is this year going to be different for you? And with that question, we're going to go to the Soul Truth Awareness deck, which is my favorite deck right now. Because it asks really good questions and I'm all about questions. <laughs> all right, let's see. What question does Scorpio need to hear for the month of November? Let me know if this is resonating with you in the comments below. And happy birthday. Okay, I already said that. What do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? Oh my God, I love this one. <laughs> I love this card because this is the truth. Soul truth, right? When we're trying to manifest money, yet our beliefs, this is what we talk a lot about in the Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance course, a lot if your beliefs do not match what you're trying to manifest, this is where the problem lies. So do my beliefs match my dreams? How does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you are worthy? Do you believe you are capable? Do you trust money? Does money trust you? Money is an energy. It ebbs and flows. You are worthy of it, and it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. Today's soul action. Take a deep dive in your belief system around money. 
Are there any beliefs you need to upgrade to create the results you are wanting most in your life? Write out your money story. Is it time for a sacred shift? What will your next chapter be? Fill in the blank. I am grateful for money because. This is a big thing I had to get through. Big, big, big thing about how to let go of the beliefs I had around money. And there's so many um, different beliefs that you can have around money. But your responsibility here is to start to find out what that is. And if you need help and you really want to manifest money, definitely join the Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance course, okay? So happy birthday to all of you. Really ask yourself this question and ask yourself, really, they're kind of drilling it in here, is what are you ready to let go of in order to create the life that you want? And are you ready to do it this year? And if not this year, then when? Can you really afford to wait? All right. Much love to all of you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this reading. And I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.